Hi everyone, um, welcome to my 17 week pregnancy vlog. I'm actually 17 weeks, <coughs> Monday, Tuesday, and five days pregnant. Um, I'm a little bit later doing it this week because um, I have had just a crazy week. So this is my first week of filming. Um, I had a lot of early wake-ups. My call times were like 6 a.m. So I was getting picked up at 5. The first night I didn't sleep great, which is just very typical for me right before I start a new job. Um, I just never, I just never sleep very well. I get a bit excited, I think. It's so random, but I get a bit, a bit excited. <coughs> I have this cough, which is really annoying. Dr. Halshkin lip balm, a. Hmm. Hmm. I got given this from set. It smells really good. Um, so, look, the week's been great. Tired because, obviously, I had about probably four hours sleep that first night. And then it just caught up with me. And also, I got Poet's cold. So, Poet had a cold, almost got over a cold. Then I got her cold. And then I got over it for about four days and then re got her cold because she kind of like had a bad cold, then she was fine, and then had a bad cold again. And now I'm, ow, I just like stabbed myself. And now I'm the one who actually has a, um, has a cold and I'm really stuffy right now. And I have this like annoying ass cough. It's not COVID. Um, <coughs> although I think COVID cough probably sounds like dry like that. Uh, but we've got these rapid tests that we keep testing ourselves. Anyway, I'm fine. No COVID. Um, I feel like I'm going to get interrupted. I've, I'm hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> Look at my pants hanging up there. I had to do hand washing because we are in a hotel. Um, and so today I did a, a day of setting up in the hotel because when you're in a hotel, just you and three kids, and it's quite a small hotel room, you need to have your setup. Um, also, it's kind of hard to find vegan options here. In, I won't say exactly where we are, but in Estonia. Um, we're in a certain part of Estonia. And um, they just aren't the sort of vegan options that we're used to. And obviously, there's no stove or a kitchen here because we're in a hotel. So I've set it all up. We've got a little bench. I've got a blender, sandwich maker, a toaster and uh, a kettle and then I have so many fruits I have the little mini bar like shoved with so many different foods and fruits and olives and whatever um, so I've just been kind of making a living off sandwiches melted vegan cheese sandwiches with spinach and <coughs> onion and olives um, and then today I ate uh, like a little wrap that I put guacamole in and I smashed chickpeas down um, and did like cucumber and fresh tomato, um, and some onion and, and olives as well. And that was really yummy. So I'm actually eating probably the healthiest that I've eaten this whole pregnancy. So this week has been great in terms of health because, um, the, I don't have access to all the fries and the burgers that I did in Cardiff. Um, and so I'm trying to make do without having cooking facilities. So oh, I'm not even making pastas. Everything's been like lots of fresh fruits and veggies. And, um, so I'm feeling good. I'm actually feeling really great. And I've been doing a lot of exercise too. So at work, I've been chasing the little boy around in the movie, um, for the scenes. So we have all these scenes where I'm running after him and we're like trudging through snow and I'm huffing and puffing and there's so many stairs in the house. So I feel like I'm getting a really good amount of exercise this week, which has been lovely um, and tiring. I this, this past weekend, I've been walking so much with the kids and yesterday um, there's a playground at the bottom of the stairs, like right out the front of the hotel. But I couldn't get down the stairs because it was just me and uh, the three kids. And I was like, all right, so I'll try and do like a walk around to figure out a way to get down to the playground. Um, and I ended up going an hour 
out of the way just to get to the playground and then it was another hour back huffing and puffing like, <gasps> like pushing the pram up the hill um and it was just so wild people must have been like what is this pregnant woman doing like on a hill pushing a double pram forest and poet were both asleep um and then you know Brody was just kind of bouncing along next to me so <coughs> mark said like that was a very overly ambitious teresa thing um but it's been good like i think this is the first time i've i've had proper exercise um and you know dr um his name's not gordon goldberg dr goldberg said to me when um i left his office when i was 15 weeks pregnant he was like keep up with the exercise i was like oh god i have not been doing that but this week um felt really good so i've been doing that eating healthy on set catering's really healthy as well um no symptoms or anything this week apart from what's really exciting is i know i've been talking about how i've been thinking that i've felt her kick last week on my 16 week pregnancy vlog i was like i think i'm feeling her well <coughs> i filmed that at 16 plus three days um on 16 plus four five and six days at 10 o'clock like right around 10 o'clock i'd lie in bed and i'd be like Boop, and i'd just feel her and it was always the same time I could just feel her moving around and it was so stinking cute. And I was like, oh my God, there you are, little girl. Um, and I just rub my hands on her and sing to her and say, I hear you. I hear you kicking in there. I can feel you. Um, I just like engage with her. Um, the kids, my belly's really sticking out right now. So the kids have been way more engaged with talking to her and i was like she can hear you like you can say oh it's me bodhi or it's me forest and um bodhi was like my beautiful princess i can't wait till you're here um and poet just says hi baby sissy um and forest was like i love you my name's forest so it was so cute <coughs> that was yesterday um other than just, you know, I do find that you, you tend to get a little bit more run down when you're pregnant. And for me, not only am I pregnant, um, I'm also breastfeeding. So breastfeeding, pregnant, I'm the lead in a movie. There's a lot going on. Um, another thing I should mention is I got my blood test results back from Dr. Goldberg about my titers and all that. So whilst I did test positive for the Duffy antigen, which I knew that I would, um, my titers were so low that they didn't even register, which is fantastic because it means that Bubs is doing great in there. She's totally fine. She's not being affected by this antibody situation that I have with my immu, uh, im, immu, immu, oh God, now I don't even, I so immunization pregnancy, that's it. Um, and again, antibodies has nothing to do with COVID. Um, this is my antibody situation I have because my husband has that rare little different blood. Um, so th that means this baby does have it. Um, it does, it's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It's not, nothing bad. Just means that, um, you know, my body has started to make antibodies and it, and it's essentially stopped. So that's a positive. Um, my vitamin D levels were shockingly bad. <laughs> um, I have this like really generic mega vitamin D that I just bought at an Estonian pharmacy. Um, that's 2000 IU. I need to be taking 6,000 a day. Um, and then the prenatal I've been having is this guy, <coughs> My Kind Organics. It's really good. Mark picked this out. Um, it's vegan. It's whole foods. Yeah, whole foods. It's a multivitamin. Obviously has uh, everything you need in terms of the uh, folic acid, which is the most important one. Um, I've been trying to remember to have that every day. Probably don't remember every single day. Um, but yeah, like the best thing about this week has definitely been, I mean, obviously starting the job has been really fun. Um, being away from the kids has been hard, but I do get to see them at the end of the day. And now that they've all been COVID tested, they're allowed to come to work. So I'll get to see them a bit more at work too which is great um but really the best thing has been feeling her moving 
I did bring my um, fetal Doppler. I haven't felt the need to use it because I'm now feeling her. So I'm not sure if I'll use that again this pregnancy. Maybe I will. I'm sure I will. I'll show you my belly. Here she is. Look at my, my little belly popped out. Actually, my belly button never really went back in after it popped out the first time with Bodhi. Now this here shows you why you should never pierce your belly. If you're a teenager and you're watching this, I'm not sure how many teenagers watch this, but this is what happens. It gets all stretched out. Um, and actually, I didn't get any stretch marks at all during any of my pregnancies, except I have the teeniest, tiniest little one on top of my belly, belly ring scar, like right, literally right here. I have one. Um, I don't have my linear necria yet. Um, hopefully I pronounced that right. I haven't got my line yet, which is funny. I'm pretty sure I got it at 15 weeks last time. Um, <coughs> so we'll just see if that comes. I hope it still comes. I really like it. Um, but it's, yeah, it's nowhere in sight yet. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I'm 17 and a half weeks already. It has gone really fast. The second trimester feels like it has flown by. But again, as I always say, it is my favorite trimester. Um, I'm still probably sleeping on my belly a little bit, but I try and I have, I sleep with two pillows on top of each other and then I have a pillow either side of me. So at least when I roll, I can put a leg over a pillow and it's not so flat on my belly. Um, but yeah anyway that's about it guys um i can't believe i'm i'm if i feel quite far along already which is really cool um she'll be here in august all right i should go because it's bedtime um and i need to get this sent off to cassandra hi cass if you're watching this um cass is our editor at ysem and she was like, don't forget to send me your pregnancy vlog. Um, so I'm going to get this off to her now so that you guys will get it on your Monday. All right, all you fancy folk out there, sending lots of love. And I will see you next week. Bye.